Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this as pocket chair together. It's a double rows pocket chair. Let's open a new page and then start to build it together there. Firstly on the front plane I'm going to create a sketch and I have an Excel file here for you. First we need to find the pitch diameter. We have pitch of 12.7 uh, and we have a number of T20. These are most important to value to find the diameter. And first I draw here a group of construction lines. And then I will start to give my value. This is pitch value 12.7. We have a degree of 18 because 300 by divided divide by 20 is uh, 18. 20 is our uh, number of teeth value. And here we have 851. Yes, let's keep it like this and then continue. Now we are going to create on the right plane a sketch again. And we look there normal to if you press your space. Program going to create it for you. And I will start to give my values here. So a basic sketch. I don't think so you'll have a problem with these things. I select two object, mirror, and I continue to model it. I stop somewhere here and this is again a construction line. What I'm going to do now, go to mirror entities, select everything, mirror about, obey this guy, because of I will have a hub and I just want to hide this one and then continue something like this. Here also we can create something and a construction line here. So let's start to give some values. Uh, here we have a value of 1.3. These are standard values guys. You should be able to find with the standards of the GR. If you search on internet, this is 7.2. All this comes from standard values. This is 21. Here I will have a 15, here I will have a value of uh, 55, so 50, these are not standard values, how can change, here I have 12, and I have a hole at the center, 30, we are missing our outer diameter, if you look here, and which is here, major diameter, D0, pitch diameter plus 1.25 uh, multiplied by pitch, uh, minus D, roller diameter, and then, what was it? 888, and then we have something like this. We close our sketch and we select our sketch. We go revolve base, tin feature closed, select contour. This will be the contour that I would like to revolve. This is the axis. And then we have this nice shape. Then we look normal to this plane. And then we are going to open here a sketch and I will convert my entity. I said plane, it's not a plane, but all straight surfaces, flat surfaces, serves you as a plane in this program. Sorry, sometimes the way of uh, talking about them. This two point will be symmetrical according to this line, and I will hide my base sketch now. The value was 851. Uh, and we are having here a 140. This is also coming from a standard value, from the tables, in fact. I have here an arc, 
and I will make it tangent. What we do then, select the line, select the circle, select the R and circle, and then simply we create here a relationship. Then I will mirror this one, I select it, go to mirror, this is the line, and I complete it. I will look normal too, you can do that by pressing your space on the keyboard. We have another value here, which is the radius and the tooth. That means uh, it's a, a derived from a calculation, 0 0.12 multiplied by d, it is your roller diameter, and multiplied by z plus 2, number of teeth, that means 22, the formulation here, if you would like to have. And 22, I'm just going to copy it here, and I will bring to my program, and then I will say paste, and this is the value, and it is fully black, except this guy, and we can convert this entity and trim unnecessary parts. This will be my tooth profile, and then I will cut it, step cut, up to surface I'm always using in professional life because if I'm changing the length of this area then it will be always up to that surface. We select our cut extrude or it can be here a surface and then we go to circular pattern. Direction means a place where my program can find an axis. It can be an axis, it can be a uh, surface like this and a circle. Simply my instances are 20 and equally spaced and then after the operation is done most beautiful part giving some uh, pad the chamfer you can select a surface then you're gonna have a two edge of that surface a chamfer if you can select the edge, only that edge will be chamfered. This is also good to keep in mind. And then let's open here a QA. Select surface, select sketch, and I create here a QA, double QA, 35, and the width is 6. We close sketch, and the same my program cut for me through all will cut everything you can select up to surface that will be finishing in the surface somewhat same yeah we are done guys uh, thanks for watching if you have any question put in the comment if you like my video hit the like button see you in another video thanks for watching